When you're interested in whether or not the average of a process equals some value, one way of checking that is with the mini tab one sample t-test routine. I'm going to show you how to do that using a graphical approach. First, I'm going to open up some data and the data I'm going to open is in a worksheet and this worksheet is attached uh, as a resource to this lesson so you can download it and do this for yourself. I'm going to analyze the data in the values column, that's column C1 in this worksheet, and the hypothesis I want to test is that the average of the process that generated these values is equal to 5. To do that, I'm going to go to the stat menu, to the basic stats, and down to the graphical summary, and again I want to analyze values the values column. So I select that and I click OK. And Minitab is going to create a histogram with the superimposed normal curve over the top. The sample size is pretty small, so it's hard to tell by looking at the graphic whether or not this data are normal. However, in the panel on the right side, we see that there's a normality test. It uses the Anderson-Darling statistic and the p-value is 0.442. And since the p-value is greater than 0 0.05, we can fail to reject the hypothesis and assume the data are normally distributed. Now let's look at the confidence interval. The confidence interval for the mean goes from 4.5989 to 4.9789, and this interval does not include 5, so we can conclude at 95% confidence that the mean of this process is not 5. The graphical picture of the confidence interval tells us basically the same thing. So based on all of this, we'll conclude that the process mean is not equal to 5.